For one family, the shooting at the end of the Chiefs rally has touched them in ways few of us can imagine. Four of them shot. That included three minors and the loss of 43-year-old Lisa Lopez Galvin. A mom, sister, wife, even a grandmother. And tonight they're sharing her story, who she was and why she was the life of the party. Fox Wars Malik Jackson live at Union Station tonight. Malik, they're also reacting to the charges in this case so far in a juvenile case being filed. Yeah, John and Lauren, I asked them what they, was, what they would say to the people responsible for the death of their sister and the injuries to their nephew and two of their nieces. They said to tell them that they need to hold themselves accountable and get some help before they hurt anybody else. But they didn't want to focus on that. They wanted you at home to know about their sister, Lisa Lopez Galvin, and how very special she was. She didn't even actually need a mic, but she loved the mic. And uh, she just wanted to have a good time. She wanted everyone to have a good time. And she just, that's really, that was who she was. A life that was quite frankly bigger than life. A woman who was talented, joyful, and never caught without a smile on her face. It's a legacy that she left in, in her short life, lifespan. And uh, there's family members that remain here and we will never let that memory go and what she stood for. But it is the moments that took her life that will leave a lasting impact on a family and a community forever. My husband called to say that there's been gunshots and he it was in a very frantic voice. And Lisa, Lisa's hurt, I, it's not good. We did know that our sister was shot we really didn't know about any of the family, other family members, but we knew they were taken to a hospital. It was then the waiting game began. Their phones wouldn't connect. They couldn't get in a car and drive. Traffic was gridlocked. So Beto started walking to the hospital just to find out what happened to his family. It was very uneasy feeling um, and not knowing what the status of my sister was, was just a horrible thing to live through. Lisa Lopez Galvan died at the age of 43. Her son Mark was shot and has been released from the hospital. Today, her family released these two pictures of her nieces who were shot in photos with the Mahomes. One of the girls is discharged, the other still recovering. And we're on the same time too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I have always yes. For now, they're holding on to each other and leaning on their faith as they navigate a unique yet an unimaginable circumstance. And as for a $100,000 donation from Taylor Swift, they're immensely grateful. Deeply touched and honored that someone uh, so highly you know, known across the world um, cared enough about our family. There's, there's no words that can express how touched we are. Beto says he doesn't know Taylor Swift, but what he does know about Taylor Swift is that she's caring. She's a loving person and she loves music as well. And so it's an omen because if she would have known Lisa, they would have been friends. John. No doubt, Malik. You know, I, I can't imagine what that walk to the hospital must have been like for Beto. Have services been planned yet? So from our understanding, this investigation is still moving forward, still pushing ahead, and they have not released her body. But more importantly, they're trying to find a space big enough to accommodate all of the people that want to say their goodbyes. John.